Hello, my blessed soul. This is Maylina from Encoding Shamanic Peacemaker. And um, if you have been following me, uh, you know that I've mm, been making a series um, of a divine love story between divine masculine and divine feminine. Some of you have contacted me. Uh, a lot of you have contacted me and I feel so blessed um that you like my readings uh since i'm new on youtube <laughs> but uh a few of you i have feel an energy uh from the divine feminine has been coming to me since yesterday um because divine feminine has for some reason been um uh uh, outed a little bit, uh, ghosted a little bit uh, from this divine masculine and they have felt separated from divine masculine and um, are getting a little um, anxious and um, maybe disappointed and um, just wanting something to happen now. <laughs> Uh, so, um, uh, some of you have asked me, how do I manifest the relationship I want in my life? What do I do? <laughs> so, um, you guys, uh, today I'm going to talk a little bit, tell you about my own story, and then I'm going to end with the uh, answers from the, um, from spirit to you about how to manifest this in your life. Um, uh, <clears throat> I want to tell you first and foremost how I manifested my own husband 14 years ago. Um, uh, <laughs> And it's a funny story and it's true. <laughs> so let me start with um, the fact that at that point in time, I had been in several um, relationships uh, that lasted like 10 months to a year or something. And none of them really worked out for me. So I... I was pretty tired um, of relationship. I was pretty tired of men and especially the last one of the relationships. I really hit rock bottom and uh, I was just like, I never want to see a man ever in my life again. Um, so what I did was I sat down at my desk and I started writing. And the first sentence was actually, I will never be in another relationship with a man unless he um, fits the following, um, <laughs> uh, what is that word, words, or just uh, he has to... Uh, be like this and fulfill this for me. Sorry, um, it's my Danish and I'm a little tired today. But anyway, I'm going to try uh, coming up with my words. Um, and what I wrote uh, was um, something uh, like, um, I wrote it in present time and it was mostly general um, words and sentences, not so specific, uh, because actually I didn't know <laughs> what I was gonna get. So it was uh, something for me and for my feelings. And I wrote something like, I am enriched having this true love in my life. I have a giving relationship uh, and there is a balance between giving and receiving uh, between us. Um, I just wrote a little bit down so I could read it for you. Um, 
there is a passion and intimacy uh, in this relationship and this passion and intimacy is lasting um and i feel 100 myself in this relationship um i feel i come home to who i am in this relationship i i feel like i've come home to my soul um I feel um, desired, I feel uh, wanted and appreciated on a daily, le uh, daily level. It's just every day I feel like this in this relationship. Uh, I get all the good uh, things and all the joy I deserve in my life. Uh, to him... I am the only one uh, and he treats me like that every day. I have a loving and positive uh, relationship and um, I have support and um, from him uh, in my endeavors in my life and um, this um, man in my life, he's able to uh, take action when action is needed. And also, he's able to uh, find the peace and calm whenever it's needed. Um, I'm being respected and admired by this person. And I'm being listened to and looked at with um, attention. Um and um, I feel inspired in this relationship. This person inspires me and wants me to take uh, new steps towards new ideas together uh, in communion with this relationship. Um, I learn a lot from this person. Uh, I and evolve it together with this person in this relationship and this person in is interested in me and who i am he finds me interesting and he's proud of me um and that way he backs me up every day we speak talk together every day and we joke we have fun together uh so and we have passion <laughs> and also I feel safe. I feel safe in the future. Um, and I feel 100% sure of what he feels about me and that his feelings are um, really deep and uh, really loving. And uh, I know I have his back. I know that I have him. I feel 100% sure in that fact. Um, so, um, and some of that stuff I wrote down on a piece of paper. And you know what happened two weeks later? Because after I, I wrote this, I have to say, actually, I just uh, uh, folded it and put it into the drawer uh, underneath my desk and uh, and I said I'm done I'm done angels universe you have it you got it I wrote down what I want and I'm not looking for a man until he comes and finds me and I really felt that I felt that like in the deepest part of my my soul I was letting this shit go no more men was coming towards me and I wasn't even gonna look for them at all <laughs> until someone came in that way I have wrote on my note um, and until then I was just not gonna look anymore uh, and two weeks later, my girlfriend, she called me and she said, do you want to go to the south of France 
with all our friends together. <laughs> and uh, I was like, I don't have any money. <laughs> I can't afford it, I said to her. And she said, you know what? Uh, mm, the people, our friends that had um, uh, actually rented a huge house uh, right by the beach, um, they're paying for everything. You just need to buy your flight ticket <laughs> uh, for the flight. So, uh, yeah, I was... Um, Actually, I called my bank and asked them if I could uh, uh, draw some extra money <laughs> for that reason. So I didn't even think about what was going to happen. I was thinking, I'm going to France with my friends. And uh, I did. And um, once I got there, I wasn't even looking at all to find someone. I was relaxing into the you know comfortness of being with a group of friends and uh, just enjoying having been invited and uh, and a few days went by and nothing really happened I was just calm and um, and then on day number four or something um, I was laying um, by the pool uh, and, uh, suddenly spirit contacted me, uh, in a way they hadn't done before, like very, uh, sort of aggressively speaking very loudly in my ear. You have to go for a walk today with some of the guys here, one of the guys here. And I instantly I started looking around I was thinking what what are you what are you saying because I felt like I was being ordered to do this and uh, then my old friend uh, from many years was laying beside me and I was I was actually I was very fast in asking him because I felt this really, really powerful order to do it now, do it now. So I asked him, um, do you want to go for a walk on the beach? And he was like, mm, not right now. <laughs> no, maybe later. <laughs> and then I thought to myself, what the fuck am I doing? What am I, why am I asking him? Because he's just a very old friend and not a, at all someone I feel romantically attracted towards. So, But uh, spirit was so determined. So, well, I let it go and uh, kept staying by the pool. Um, and then suddenly someone else uh, in this group someone I hadn't been speaking to a lot because there were a lot of people actually. So, uh, and he came and um, laid beside me on a different chair, but, and then we started just talking like, and, uh, and I wasn't thinking about the thought I just had and the proposal I just made to my old friend, but, uh, no, um, I had let it go. I was like, no, no, no. You decided not to do anything about this rom romantic stuff on this vacation. So I had let it go. I started to just speak normally and um, with that person that came to my side. And uh, after uh, 10 minutes talking to him, I, uh, I had the same... Uh, <laughs> very annoying voice in my ear saying this is the guy you want have to go for a walk with ask him ask him ask him ask him and I felt so stressed I was like I don't know him very well <laughs> I can't just ask him if he wants to go to the beach with me for a walk I just so I started feeling uh, a little uncomfortable and then at the same time I knew I had to do it and I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I didn't know why I just, I didn't know what would happen. I didn't, I was clueless about this 
So, um, but anyway, I mastered to gather some strength and then I s silently asked him, like, you know what? I was thinking about going for, for a walk on the beach. Um, and, uh, um, do you want to come? And he instantly said, yes, yes, I want to come. And, um, well, <laughs> We went to the beach, you guys, and uh, we was we were walking down there for a few hours actually, and we went swimming. And uh, at one point, I had to grab his hand because uh, the waves were so high and I was falling. So I grabbed his hand, and when I did that, I I got an electric. Uh, shot like I was hit by lightning or something uh, that was um, how uh, frequent high frequent uh, the energy was um, between us uh, and it shocked me I was like shit what, <laughs> what is going on and um, actually I was afraid I was gonna drown we had to go swimming but my body was so weird and uh, you know the energy was rising inside of me and him and I I swear to God that day on that beach God was there the angels were there I saw them with my own eyes hanging above the beach and some of them in the background were clapping and cheering um, and I just felt like I had never in my life experienced anything that felt more right, more true uh, than this union. So that was the meeting with my husband. 14 years ago. Uh, so this is my personal story of how I manifested my partner. And, um, and I really want to, s to speak to you a little bit more about this. And I want to bring in the um, angels because, you know, they... They want. They wanted to say something as well, and that, of course, is why I um, I I pulled the cards for you guys, and um, I want to talk more about manifestation and attracting someone. Um, I'm hearing them say, "Equal attract equal." Uh, and it is your vibration that has to be met um, to uh, make all of your dreams come true. All right. So uh, <laughs> if you have someone in your life right now um, that you're missing or you're longing for, um, first and foremost, Ask yourself, how did you get to the vibration where you actually attracted him in the first place? Um, uh, and uh, take a quiet moment for a while and uh, go back to the energy you felt coming up to that meeting. Um, and... Um, yeah <laughs> and then again what happened when the separation happened uh what went uh wrong in the energies and vibrational um match between you guys so um and they're wanting me to turn over the cards now and i'm gonna tell you that i am um, the first beautiful red cards I have here are called Soulful Woman. Um, and I really love these cards for the Divine Feminine um, because they're really, really deep, 
lovely go in and uh, tells us more about um, the power of the divine feminine. Um, so um, let's take a look at the journey of manifestation here. Yeah, the first card is grace. Do you know that feeling of having grace? Do you know that energy um, that grace brings into your life? It's, uh, it's love and it's um, effortlessly um, just having um, a calmness in your life. Um, just slowly stepping on the clouds and just uh, having peace of mind um, and, and knowing that uh, the divine is taking care of you, that love will transform everything. So um, this card r reminds you to go to the to your heart and um, and uh, look for the love that has actually made you coming into this life. Um, and um, that is a big, huge part of manifesting this uh, giving grace to yourself and others around you and um, the next card is number 44 uh, inner guidance system and uh, spirit is asking you um, to tap into your intuition with this card um, do you know how to tap into your intuition um, question mark they're showing me because um, some of you are still um, training um, in that sense uh, of knowing um, the difference between um, your um, purest intuition and um, a sort of a mental knowing um, or thinking uh, and thinking uh, ego thinking can uh, um, disturb sometimes our intuition so um, I always want to say that when I um, listen to my intuition and I know the difference between what is right and what is wrong what I do is I feel actually um, I, I go after the uh, physical emotion of um, the intuitive emotion. That means to, for me, it's in my heart, solar plexus, heart chakra. Sometimes I have a sensation up into my throat um, and... If I feel um, uncomfortable in a physical way towards an emotion that is coming up, uh, I know the answer is no. Uh, and Or this is not right. This is wrong. Don't do it. And, um, and then... Um, if I feel calmness, peace, effortlessness, then I know that the answer is yes. Um, so try and put a hand on your solar plexus. Some people have the, that gut feeling. Um, for me, um, the emotion has always been in my solar plexus heart. Um, and throat because sometimes you need to say something and your throat sort of just goes like ah. 
But uh, if you feel, uh, if you have a gut feeling in your, uh, in your stomach, then that's where you want to be. Uh, that's where you want to um, have the feeling of the intuition, okay? Wherever it comes, all right? It can come in sort of all of the chakras, but uh, it's different. We're, all of us are different. In the flow, yeah. When I am in the flow, magic happens. And this is the exact same thing as I was just saying. If something feels right, then go with that flow. If something feels wrong, then don't, you know, then wait. Or just um, don't step into that uh, energy. And, you know, if you're a 40 like me or plus 40 or just a little below 40, then you're just not uh, maybe yet in that energy <laughs> that spirit really actually wants us to be in that dimension where we just say yes to the things that we we feel is right right away and say no to the things we don't want to uh like right away uh just like the new the new the energy of the new kids coming in the new children uh, uh some of them they are just so highly dimensional that you know um <clears throat> If one of their friends asked them, uh, do you want to uh, have a play date in two months? Because adults can do that, you know. Adults can say, do you want to come for dinner in two months? And then we can be a little challenged uh, with, the, with the energy sometimes. If we don't feel uh, energetically aligned with that person that's asking us, and we feel maybe a little pressure to say yes or say no. Uh, or And then we're going to sometimes say, mm, let me get back to you. And then uh, prolong the an answer, <laughs> which is not good for our soul. But uh, And then, uh, you know, just one week before we, we will say, I can't. Thank you for asking me, but I, I'm so busy and I really can't come, you know. Uh, the children will say, uh, two months, what are you th talking about? I don't know what the heck I want in two months. And uh, there is a sense of me that really don't feel energetically connected to you. So um, I don't want to. No, I don't want to, they will say. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> if on, on the other hand, someone comes to them and they like that person and says, do you want to play? And they say, yes, I want to. You know, and and that is the difference between the higher dimension and the lower dimensions, and um, and how we have been trained, uh, uh, and the timing we came into this uh, life. Um, so, um, but spirit really, really always wants us to listen to our intuition. And you can actually say no in such a beautiful way to someone. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, if that's what you feel. Um, uh, so they're saying try and uh, practice um, just with uh, a little everyday questions about almost anything. You can practice your intuition. Does it feel right? Does it feel wrong? What's up? What's down here? Okay. And uh, just um, um, what is the word? Um, give yourself up to the flow. Um, you're going to want to feel uh, going downstream, downstream and not upstream. And that's the difference between what's right and what feels calm and effortless and what feels like 
ah, I'm gonna, dra I'm gonna, I'm coming, ah, it's, I, I'm dragging, ah, I'm gonna, <laughs> it's too hard, it's hard, you know, so um, go um, and choose between those two emotions. Um, all right, the next deck, uh, we have Ganesha, the Lord, the whispers of Lord Ganesha, this beautiful, beautiful um, God Ganesha. It's by Angela Hartfield. And um, let me just take the first card for you here in joy. Yeah. And uh, what is the feeling behind joy? Is someone, something's going downstream. You know, I can feel happy in my life and spirit says this is about if you're wanting to manifest something you need to feel happy within your heart in in your soul and you have to love yourself before you can attract that kind of love that you want in your life um so work on that because that will be the vibration that you send out. All right, I'm going to remove this beautiful heart. It just wanted to come in today. I'm going to put it in the top. You won't see it, but it's up there, <laughs> right up above. Uh, and the next card here in the middle of the spread is Surrender. Yeah, you remember what I said, what I did uh, after making that list of manifestation, uh, I really just surrendered completely. Um, I didn't even want a part of it. I wanted, I didn't want to be a part of it. I just uh, let go. Um, so, um, yeah. This is uh, uh, what happens when you hang on to energy uh, in a controlling way. When you hold on to it too tightly, too hard, the energy will stop. It, it, there is not going to be um, a possibility for the energy to pass, to pass. It's just stuck together. If you want flow and manifestation, you have to let it go. You have to let it fly. Um, and I know that this is the hardest part for you guys, Divine Feminines, because uh, you have seen the truth, uh, many of you. You're so spiritual uh, and you're so high highly vibrational many of you and you have seen this divine purpose um, what you can have in your life either you're with someone or you're wanting to be with someone and you know you deserve this and you also know that it will come into your life because you have had uh, such a huge um inspirational uh, knowing about this because of course you deserve it and it will come it's just a matter of time and spirit wants me to talk a little bit about how you make a pure intention how do you surrender into a pure intention let me just tell you that uh to make a pure intention, there is one thing you cannot add into the pot of your purest intention, and that is doubt. You cannot put doubt into a pure intention. It has to be completely clean and pure of anything else than the highest intention that you can come up with in your soul. And you have to make that intention with not only your uh, mental state or your emotional state, or you have to uh, we, you 
put in body, soul, and spirit, all of them, and your higher spirit, to make this purest intention for um, what you want to manifest in your life. And once you make a pure intention, you can let it go. Because you have no doubt about it. You know that it will be carried further by the angels and your guides and your higher self. Uh, because there, there is a plan. There is a plan for you and you need to trust yourself in that way. You need to trust that someone is taking care of this pure intention once you let it go. So, um, <laughs> yeah, stop controlling everything, okay? Um, I know that's really hard. And then you will have a new beginning. Yeah. And trust that you will have this new beginning. I want to read from Ganesha, the, the book, New Beginnings that came right away. Um... A new beginning can sometimes have a deeper spiritual significance, um, encouraging uh, a different consideration or a fresh approach to how you connect with your inner guidance. With awareness comes understanding. One benefit of this new start may be the opportunity to stay true to your own path and guidance. Release the need to try to bring others into your vision. Trust yourself and be willing to do the work needed at this time. Your inspiration is positive. Creativity, finances and love are flowing just before you. Ask Ganesh to assist you with the new energy and opportunities ahead of you. All right. Um, I'm being asked to talk about um, the fact that all of the wishes that you have ever made, all of the dreams and prayers you have ever sent out into the universe uh, are already there behind your curtain because your angels will say whenever you have a prayer or a wish or a dream and you ask for it they will say uh, yes chef just like in those <laughs> cooking programs yes chef and they will do it they will put it there that means you have a storage of you know boxes of all of your dreams uh, just behind the curtain and you know what comes into manifest in your life is what you allow all right uh, and that means it depends on how um, open your heart is do you truly believe that you deserve that kind of love that you've been asking for? Do you really truly believe in yourself in that way? Are you open, open to receive just everything on that list, list you made or those thoughts you sent out, those dreams you sent out? Because... If you're not vibrationally accepting the fact that, you know, um, you deserve this. And of course, they, that will come to you. Of course, it will come. Um, if you don't do that, of, there is just, it can't come in. It can't come in because your door is not open. 
All right. Uh, so um, imagine how many boxes of happiness and love and romance and passion and uh, whatever you want of a relationship. It could be children. It could be just family. Everything. Imagine how many beautiful boxes you have behind that curtain. All right. They're yours. Spirit has already brought them to you. You just have to uh, close your eyes and manifest yourself unwrapping those gifts coming into your life. All right. Um, okay. We're, we're going for the sacred power reading cards. Um by Anna Stark. I love these cards. They're beautiful. You will see in just a minute. And the next card is Soul Journey. Okay. Soul Journey is that is what you're on, my dear. Um, and that is why you're encountering, encountering this uh, need for manifestation. Because your entire life is actually uh, manifestation uh, upon manifestation upon manifestation upon manifestation. So uh, learning, learning, developing uh, your soul's uh, frequency uh, with that only purpose uh, that the work that you do on your soul's journey will have an effect on the entire universe's frequency um, so that the entire universe can um, be heightened through the learnings that you have in your life uh, and in that way you are a light worker um, you are a worker from the entire for the entire universe uh, every thought every choice you make on this earth, um, will mm, be, uh, the universe will benefit. Um, all right, even though if it's positive and or negative, or if, if it feels heavy or light, all right, everything is part of this learning. Um, yeah, and the next card here is to manifest divine consciousness and yeah that is what i just talked about it's uh divine feminine you are um awakening okay you are going through um a path of enlightenment uh from the third dimension to the fifth dimension um because uh, Earth uh, energy is uh, increasing uh, in frequency. Um, so, um, and Spirit is saying um, this uh, longing for another uh, divine person is uh, acting as a catalyst for you to actually uh, evolve yourself and to actually come closer to the divine within you look at that hand wanting wanting to you know grab onto you want, wanting to pull you up touch you and uh, that is your own higher self and your higher self is connected um, to the center of the universe to god all right so, um, and uh, getting through to that, you use your intuition, use your intuition. And um, yeah, uh, take a load off <laughs> in the flow of life, all right? Um, manifest with... Um, certainty and just jump 
on the boat going downstream and just enjoy the view and enjoy the ride. Spirit is saying. Okay, my dear. <laughs> uh, I really hope that you um, got something out of this reading and my story. Um, let me know, you know, what's gonna, what's going on, and um, and don't forget to love yourself first. Don't forget, love yourself first, because equal attracts equal. Um, whatever you feel, you send out, and it comes back. All right. So. Um, Enjoy the ride. Enjoy your journey. All right. And surrender. Surrender once you made that pure intention. Um, thank you so much for watching uh, once again, my dear. If you have been following me and if you're new, thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to hear from you. Uh, so um yeah i can't uh, believe how this uh, journey between divine masculine and divine feminine is completely filling me up uh, i didn't know that i was going to do these readings for you guys but the time is now uh, especially this year uh, for these relationships between you guys uh, and are you single i'm i'm hoping for you that um you find the love that you've been looking for and I'm pretty sure you are I get su such a really really strong confirmation that uh, wait for it <laughs> all right thanks for watching you guys bye bye